Well, hi, so welcome back. You're still watching Zanzi Fundis and the topic of discussion, keep that way premiership. Bagania to be precise. Lufuno, yeah. there's one player, I think, I deserve mention, I already mentioned said that he should be getting and he raises his hand whenever, you know, the time occurs. Muna Pule Saleh. Ah, it's, it's, a man for the big occasion. Yeah, it's big, big for big occasion. He's a top player for Pirates. You know, mm. he, he creates chances. He scores crucial goals for Pirates. Mm. You know, so if you if you're not in the kitchen, you you you, you know you're not gonna get the goals. He's always there. Do you and, feel like he's not being as appreciated as he should be? No, Pakanias appreciate him. Uh, they do. They show him love. I mean, uh, if you if you talk about Pirates now, you need to talk about Saleh. It's it's it's, it's a very crucial player for for the team. Mm. Penalty, we saw another yet. It's a controversial decision. Um, yeah. Is it a penalty? Are you giving it as a penalty? Does it not need VAR? <laughs> <laughs> From the point, first point, how we yeah. share about the game, mm. whether it we'll go stadium or whether it we'll go high, mm. you will give it as a penalty. Yeah. But how we review, mm. you then realize you know, it's outside the box. Yeah. Mm. So it tells you, the referees are for me, most importantly, give out the one of the linesmen, the two are the referees. The linesmen are on the officiate, because they are anticipating or back at some 70 kate. And it's quite. Unfortunate. Was it a brave call from the referee considering her reliance men as anger? I miss a little flag. Look, it is a brave call because at the end of the day, autumn lights and some bit too high. What will appear like a game? How on Twitter? It's what I saw. At whole, how such how such Obviously, there's going to be questions that are going to be raised. Still, supporters often speak about somebody eating somebody else's lunch. Van Rooyen. Oh, so your lunch here, but because he seems to fit in like a glove more that right back position. Yeah, Van Rooyen is it's a well cooked player. Uh, you know, from Stellenbosch. Well coached. <laughs> yeah, well coached. Mm. He, he will play. Mm. Uh, let's give him give him a time because uh, uh, the players that he's also competing with, uh, you know, it's not a pushover. Players. You know, players, <laughs> players, in fact. Yeah. Players, yeah. In fact. Yeah. So it's, not, it's not pushovers. So I think for me, Paris got a good balance in that position that we should give them time you know, to allow to play them in different competitions. You know, we know Pirates always play in, uh, now they're in the Champions League, now they're playing in the league, they're playing mm -hmm. in the Netbank, they're playing in the... So they're there, they're playing more games now. So meaning that you need uh, balance, you need more players as well. There's been talk of Pirates being a cup specialist and not necessarily applying the same thing by Iran, Godi Cup, Mudi League game. The way they played Mawan in the league match, is it uh, something alluring you are inspired? Not entirely. Because uh, Haki Sheva play Yabo number one, I think Chipa had their number, especially in the first half. Mm. You you look at the way Chipa is set up in I think Coach Gopal in September, they were cooking something there. It's unfortunate to her, Andile Jali was not fully match fit, you know, to say mm -hmm. he can take mm -hmm. the game until probably the 80th minute. I would have loved to see what Andile Jali had that set up until the 80th minute. It's a halanga the team, your Pirates, because never some of the unfortunately, the answer is a fit. Cox, let me tell you about Pirates, what they did and they did very well. Mm. <clears throat> you don't have to play pretty to win the league, to, mm. win the, to win games and to win the league. It's scripted. You just have to do what you need to do. Look at their first goal. Look at the time when they score. Additional time, two hours half time. They scored a penalty. The last goal, 90 minutes plus, they scored the goal. That's how you should do. That's it, it means that they were pushing. You they go wanted home, to win. You three points. No, they wanted to win. Mm. Because when you wanted to win, it means that you, you pin your opponents. You make them to make mistakes. And that's what Paris there's did. There's a key factor, <clears throat> key factor in, in, in this conversation because you talk about winning the league. You need to find it easier to beat the small teams, not difficult. Mm. When you score in the last minute, it says that, are you, are you trying to manage the game towards the end of it? Mm. But then it speaks with the team that you're playing against to mm. say, this team is challenging you. Mm. If we take it back last season, the games they struggled with, yes, they are doing well this, mm. this, this, this season around and they're winning those games. Mm. And that's the most important thing that even Jose himself has said for Pirates to actually challenge and compete with Sundowns, they need to win these kind of games. Speaking of pretty, we saw one chairman of a team playing ahead of internationals, and that's <laughs> Bissan. Yeah. Is it warranted that he should be in the starting 11? Uh, we've seen that he's worked on his physique. A lot of people were complaining about his physique. What's career starting 11 and all right? He's such a man moving. Look, for the position that he's playing on as well, you know, that's a very critical, he needs an engine. And uh, he needs to be able to press. If you look at the goal that they considered, you know, he needs to press. Mm -hmm. He needs to be fit. Mm -hmm. Look at the players that he's competing against. Uh, seasoned professionals. For me, it's a bit uh, questionable. I'm not the coach, but if I was the coach, he was not going to get near to the, the lineup. I see. 
Do you echo the same sentiments? And, and, and <laughs> what do you say now? Because who need the international, the international bench in fact. And then internationally, they are going hard again. And, <laughs> you know, you know it's, it's quite sad because if you look at the talent that the team has, mm. uh, there's players that are, that are coming up from the DDC team mm. that need to, to be filtered into the team. <clears throat> and Dylan needs to, to just accept or a football is why rap. We all can see that. Mm. But he doesn't have it, in my opinion. Are you still marking them as Team A Lohoring? could be making out of the exit door quicker I, than anybody else. I, I'm not going to change that, that, that thought when I go, because mm. I'm, I'm the game against Cape Town City, mm. Eric should have killed them in the first half. Mm. He should have wrapped that game. Mm. And one has to give kudos to, to John Matuka for, for at least trying to sustain the team with what he has. And the question is, 15 games into the season, <laughs> all right. There are fixtures that are coming that we can mm. We see Eros with against Gallants. We see Magesi playing City. That's Polokwani. We see Supersport also playing Royal AM and then Chipa Lana Le 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 Richards Bay. Supersport United. Quickly, Lufuno. Mm. How they started? <coughs> Would you say it's it's just Sundowns? But ten seconds, quick. Yeah, I mean, they. Uh, when did they beat Sundowns? They, they haven't beaten Sundowns in in the longest time. So look, I think let's give uh, uh, Hunt uh, uh, time. Uh, he's got the, the players, I saw young, exciting players that he has recruited. Mm. I think uh, they will not really, you know, compete uh, to, to, to win the league or anything, but they will be fine in the top eight. Let's hope they'll be fine. Coach Kevin Hunt definitely knows what he's doing. Right, so make sure that you don't go anywhere. Harry Jiga will still carry on talking about teams that are going to venture into Africa. Champions League, Kev Confederation Cup, second half.